this is Anne for ilovetocoupon.com and this is the third part in a series about freezing eggs. Um, we just did a results show and now we're going to do the second results show of having frozen raw eggs that were just put straight from the carton into the freezer and then the ones that are just cracked open so they're not in the shell when they're frozen. So one thing that happened when I tried to defrost the ones in the carton. Um, those cracks, I thought there would be a little membrane that would keep the egg inside, but actually what happened, the eggs started running out. So I refroze them and then I ran hot water over them and cracked and peeled them and then refroze them again. And now I'm going to let them thaw out completely and then we'll cook them and we'll have part two of the results show. Hey guys, the eggs are completely thawed now. So let's go ahead and cook them over there on the stove. Okay, here are the three eggs that I just cracked into a bowl. And we're going to take these. They look a little weird. This part here looks a little weird. But uh, I think they're going to do great. So let's take these over and put them in the pan. They do have a kind of odd look to them. They definitely don't look like the normal eggs when you break them in, you know, when they're fresh. They're a little weird. Um, the whites look completely cooked, but they're still really runny. You know, they turn white when they're cooked. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but it looks like they're coming along nicely. Okay, I just turned the eggs, and the appearance is definitely different. So, um, yeah. We'll see how they taste. Okay, here are the two eggs. This one is the ones that were in the freezer, and this is the fresh one. Obviously, you can tell that I'm not very good at making eggs, but that's okay. I still like to eat them. Okay, first I'm going to start and try the ones that were frozen first. The thing that's kind of weird about these, um, the yolks were never very uh, runny. Even though I cooked them for the same amount of time, these are kind of gelatinous somehow. Okay, well, the taste is a little weird, and the texture is definitely weird. The yolks are, I don't know how to explain that. Just, they're not runny, but they're not solid either. So, that is definitely weird. Let's try the other one now. Much more runny yolk, which is what I like. A lot of people don't like that. Fresh egg is definitely way better. Okay, I'm going to say that the whole eggs frozen in their shell, that didn't work out so well. So let's try now the ones that were broken into a bowl and then frozen, then thawed, and now let's cook them. All right, let's see how it turns out. And here they are. They look really similar to the other eggs that we just tested. Uh, these, the, the yolks just look a little strange. Okay, I decided to only do one of the frozen eggs because I really don't want to eat those other two at the moment. So this is a frozen egg, this is a fresh egg, and we'll see how they turn out. Okay, here they are almost ready to turn. Fresh one looks normal, and that one is pretty weird. Oh, it just seems so stand-up-y. Okay. okay, so here are two, the two eggs, fresh, frozen. And now I'm going to try to eat them. Okay, the first I'll try is the fresh. Of course, this is going to taste awesome. Even though I didn't do a very good job cooking these things today. It does taste awesome. And now, the other. It's definitely a, a strange texture. I think the white part of the egg isn't the problem. It's it's pretty good. The yolk is what is kind of strange. It's just it just doesn't it's it's a very strange texture. So so out of all the four, we did scrambled, we did the boiled and then and, and thawed, we did a and then two sort of fried after being frozen eggs. And I think the only one that really works successfully is the scrambled one. So 
scramble their eggs, and then freeze them, and then defrost, and then cook. 